is T-Mobile doing enough to protect their customers from cyber attacking, data breaches, and hacks? We've got three options. Yes, no, and then the third option is cybersecurity isn't a big deal. We had 90%. 90. Oh, 89%. Excuse me, there must have just been one last vote at the end. Is T-Mobile doing enough to protect their customers from cyber attacks, data breaches, and hacking? 89% say no. 10% say yes. And 0% say cybersecurity isn't a big deal. That's a nice turnout. I was really hoping it would have been a little bit higher than 89%. I mean, the closer it got to 100%, the happier I'd be. But uh, good to see that we got 97 votes there. And people are seeing it, I think, in the in the right way. I had a poll a couple of days ago on the YouTube communities poll. How many more hacks and customer data breaches have to occur for you to leave T-Mobile to another carrier? So this question only applies to T-Mobile customers. 20% of people said one more hack and I'm gone. 2% of the people said two more times and I'm gone. 52% of people said, I'm gone after this one, so they're planning a move. And then 25% of people said, I'm not switching. I don't care that my personal info was compromised. That's crazy. In that poll, one out of every four people said, I don't care about my personal information. Those people have problems. Their credit is probably trash and they don't care. <laughs> And I think the other ones are just, I don't know, maybe they're just shameless shills. I have no idea. Who knows? On the YouTube side, there were 421 votes. So big shout out to the SMT community. Thanks for voting in that poll. Also got some comments. I'm going to read some of the comments for you guys. This one from Big Term. Been on AT&T for six months. Couldn't stand the extremely poor T-Mobile coverage. In rural Michigan. So it looks like he left before the hack. Nepali Tech Reviews. With Verizon for more than 10 years. Got five lines. Every day is worth it. Jason. Jason C. I think he's he might be in the live chat. I've been gone since December of 19. Got tired of poor coverage. Switched to AT&T. They gave me 750 in prepaid Visa cards to get me to switch. They gave me an iPhone SE 2020. For five bucks a month. AT&T has better coverage and service. Luisito said, I love T-Mobile in my area, but I don't want anything to be compromised, so I'm going to AT&T. Wow, a lot of people think an AT&T here. CD says, my credit is crappy. No one wants my information. <laughs> Fantastic. Big shout out to CD. Keeping it real. Darion, he's going to Verizon. Robson says, I'd leave if I didn't have a phone on finance. Would jump to AT&T ASAP if they paid off phones. I think they do. They paid a switch. Let's see here. I'm not going to say this guy's statement because I wouldn't want to embarrass him, but he legit typed this out. Companies have data breaches all the time. <laughs> we know. Most people are used to it by now. I am. <laughs> what? If people leave more data bandwidth for me, their network is great in my area. Even oh, this guy needs some periods or something. Oh, God. Oh, my. Like, that's some low standards. My goodness. All right. Don't care. I see I refuse to accept it as just easy. I'm not just going to I'm not just going to concede to just give it up smooth and call it a day. I refuse. I already left for cricket. That might be smart cuz prepaid doesn't collect the same data and personal information. Most of the people are saying they left because of bad service. Edward says I'll never go to T-Mobile for me. The only two true carriers in the US are AT&T and Verizon. So there you go. 
that was the poll on YouTube. And we also ran a similar poll on Twitter. So what we could do is we could take a look at that and see how that compared to the YouTube poll. Could be different. Who knows? Let's take a look at these numbers, shall we? I think it was a couple of days ago. T-Mobile hacks and sensitive consumer information. How many more times does this have to happen for you to leave for another carrier? One more time and I'm out, 11%. Two more times and I'm gone, 6%. This one was enough, deuces, 61%. Don't care about my personal data, 22%. That number is way too high. What is wrong with these people? Comment from Metro PCS community. Most customers don't understand that once their personal information hits the dark web, it is there forever. That is fact. If I hadn't left for AT&T already, I would have left from this one. Hmm. This person commented, and I'm not going to say any names. I guess that's not good. Why frame the last in such a negative light? Data breaches are bad as long as the company does right by their customers. I don't see it being super bad. Just my opinion. How are they doing right by their customers if they have five hacks in four years? How? How? This is crazy. Another person. I don't care. I love T-Mobile. <laughs> they don't care about their personal information. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put an AT&T SIM into slot two. I'm going to cancel my T-Mobile account if this happens again. All right, there we have it. That's the voice of the people. That is the SMT Nation. You all let your voice be heard. I appreciate all the votes on Twitter, all the votes on YouTube. I know that T-Mobile's given out like a lot of protections now, like different, like, I don't know, McAfee and all these other things. It might be too little too late for some of these customers. They might not be able to keep them. I know they're doing like account credits and stuff like that. Maybe that helps. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it does something for you. Who knows? I say leverage it. If they'll give you credits, take advantage of it. Go ahead. Here is a tweet. <laughs> Big shout out to Amir. Thanks for sharing this with me. T-Mobile says... We place the highest priority on customer account security, and the investigation is ongoing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but they're being probed and investigated by the FCC. There's a ginormous hole somewhere. And if they get hit with that because of neglect and not being attentive to it, they're going to get fined bad. And you as the consumer, you pay the price. They'll just call it a business expense, and it'll be a tax write-off. But you, your information is out there. So, no, they don't care about your... You're not the highest priority when it comes to security. Unfortunately, that's just the truth. Again, I'm not going to speak to Verizon and AT&T because they haven't been hacked to this degree this many times or at this scale. If and when they do, I'll hit them hard. I mean, this matters. This stuff is important to consumers. <laughs> 